Sylvain, we, uh, we have something fun here this weekend. We have a Mazda behind you that we can hear at any point on the track. Tell us uh, about the difference and what you've been doing here during, uh, during this November test. So obviously we were here about two weeks ago doing some initial testing with a private test and uh, it, was, uh, it was great to really have some top end performance. Obviously, you know, the diesel was a fantastic program for us. It was really an R&D exercise. Uh, we learned so much, it's gonna help make Mazda road cars better. Uh, what we have behind us is a direct injected four cylinder turbocharged two liter engine. Uh, in the Mazda product plan, a lot of those engines are coming on board, so we're still part of that process. Uh, the sound is definitely wonderful. It's a high revving engine. Uh, you know, those of us that remember the rotary when we've had some success here with Mazda, uh, it's really close to our hearts. To hear this thing sing along on the back straightaway is wonderful. The drivers are very, very happy. Uh, not only the engine, really, of the balance of the car. It's woken up our car. We, we can use downforce that we weren't able to use before. And it's been it's been wonderful. It's really it's transformed the way that we drive this car. When we look to the season ahead, what do you what do you think? What are your feelings for your competitive capabilities? It looks like a bullet in a straight line and quartering as well. So is optimism high, or is there still more tuning to do? Uh, very optimistic. We've got uh, almost 6,000 kilometers of testing that we've done with this package since June of last year. We've tested on the you know the week prior to some of the race events. At the sprint races, I expect fully to win some races next year. We're not going to come into the track to just mess around anymore. We're here to win races. Uh, you know, the endurance races, our package needs to be developed. Obviously, some of the more established programs that have had the same equipment year in, year out are always going to be a factor at Daytona and Sebring. But, uh, you know, the sprint races will definitely be uh, part of the, uh, the story for sure. Last question for you, Sil. So you've got Spencer Piggott, who's not new to the family uh, at all. You've got a bunch of young drivers who seem to have adapted quickly. Tell me about cycling them through and, and what they've found with the car. So it's been real interesting. We've had, you know, Jonathan Bomarito and Tristan Nunez do all of the testing so far along with myself. And when we got here, we, Tom Long and Joel Mayo have never driven the car. Uh, Tom is probably, uh, you know, the world's best poker player because you never know if he's happy or sad. He got out with such a smile, so it was great to see that. And Joel just took it like, you know, a duck to water. Uh, a lot big shout out to Spencer. Spencer's an open wheel guy and you know he couldn't believe how big this car is even though it's a little tiny prototype to me compared to a GT car and within five laps he was right on pace. So what, what a talent, what a testament to the Mazda Road to Indy and what they do for young drivers and you know I'm in a lucky position that I have all this talent to pull from so happy to be part of the Mazda family, happy to be able to give back some of these young drivers and you know try to win some hardware back from Mazda.